Alright guys, um, so this is the second thing that we're going to talk about for Unit 8. We already talked about the reason for the seasons, and you should know that, that it is not because the Earth moves closer to the Sun at given points in the year. It is because of the tilt of the Earth, so make sure you know that. Um, so there are two different theories that we're going to talk about um, tonight um, that kind of have to do with the formation of what we believe now and what we know to be true now. Um, and there are two types. We're not going to do that one, and we're not going to do that one. All right, um, so the two types, geocentric um, should be on the left-hand side of your page. Um, this is what Aristotle believed. Um, it's called geocentric. He thought that the Earth was the center of the universe. He was very self-centered, if you want to think about it that way. He thought that um, everything revolved around us. Um, everything had to do about Earth. Um, it wasn't about the sun. It wasn't about any of that thing because, I mean, really, he looked up in the sky and saw all these things moving. So the last thing he thought was that we, the Earth, was moving and rotating and things like that. So he thought that we were just standing still and then all these other things around the universe and our solar system were moving. So it is Earth center. That means that the sun, moon, stars, and planets revolve around Earth. So that's what he thought when he looked up in the sky. Um, we actually believe this until 1500 AD, which is not that far off, um, and this is early cultures and polytomy, okay? So make sure you have all those blanks down on the left-hand side. Um, heliocentric, this is what um, we know to be true now. This is sun-centered, so helio, think of sun, geo, think of earth, you know, like geology. Um, this is the planets and the comets revolve around the sun, um, and that includes us that revolve around the sun, which we know to be true. The sun stays still. Um, and we have been believing this since 1500 AD to present. Um, Copernicus had a lot to do with this, and so did Galileo, Kepler, and Newton. If you know about Newton's uh, three laws and Kepler's laws as well, um, you might know a little bit more about it. So. Make sure you have both of these uh, theories down because they're very, very, very important when we talk about the formation of uh, what we believe now and theories and how we kind of develop to figure out what uh, is actually going on. And yes, it's dancing. Okay. Um, so you should also have this on your paper. Um, you can label it if you want to with the um, polymatic theory. This is geocentric with the Earth in the middle. And then Copernicus's theory is heliocentric with the sun in the middle. Um, we say that heliocentric is mostly true um, because we know that the planets have different patterns um, in their orbit around the sun, and he thought that they were all circular, which, of course, we know is not true. Um, so what did the geocentric theory state? Is this theory correct? You should know this. It stated that the Earth was the center of the solar system, and, of course, we know this is incorrect. All right, so the Big Bang Theory. So going back to, okay, so we have all this stuff in our universe. How did it actually come into formation? So this is a theory um, that some scientists believe. Um, you need to know about the theory um, in order to make your own beliefs and things like that. So make sure you're getting this down. This is a theory of formation of the universe, um, and the theory was made in 1950. This is where matter, time, and energy were compressed into an extremely small ball, and it was very, very unstable. So if you think about everything that we have now in our universe all in one tiny piece of matter, um, and then all of a sudden it exploded, and they have dated it back to about 13 to 14 billion years ago. Um, so, you know, everything in our universe has been around for quite some time. Um, and then every hour the universe actually expands by a billion miles in all directions. So actually, there's a whole different science about this. We could talk about this in class, but um, it is proven. You can look in um, different telescopes and see how, they're how things are moving. If it gives off like a red glare, um, it means that it's moving away. If it gives off a blue glare, it means it's coming towards us. Um, and we can see that these things actually kind of vary in their shade. So we can tell, um, you know, if they're moving quickly or moving fast, but everything is actually kind of moving away from each other um, because it's still kind of exploding, if you want to think about it that way, um, and that's what scientists believe. Um, so you got the brain pop Galileo on the back. You do not have to do that. We'll do that in class. Um, and then you have a double bubble on the back of your sheet as well. Make sure you fill that out with um, the things that you have on the, on the front of your um, notes and make sure that you bring that to class tomorrow.